Wear the gown. Brought to you by CHI St. Vincent. Heaven forbid if you're ever diagnosed with a brain tumor and need the best surgeon in the world, your best bet would be to simply head over to Sherwood. THV 11's Craig O'Neill tells us why. The next thing I remember was talking to Ann and, and, and uh... Barrett Hatches is a big fan of Dr. Ali Krish. Over a month ago, Hatches was diagnosed with a tumor on the pituitary gland, pressing on his optic nerve, affecting his vision. Though he felt fine, he needed brain surgery. And all I could think, wow, they're going to cut my head open, and I'm never going to be the same. His wife, Ann, knew of the reputation of CHI St. Vincent neurosurgeon, Dr. Ali Krisht. And so when she turned to me and said, we're going to Little Rock to see the best doctor in the world who does this, that's why I'm here. Here in Sherwood, even though, get this, Hatches is CEO of a medical group in Chicago. And I'm going to be challenged with, uh, with the medical community that I work with in Chicago. Ah, but you can bet Dr. Christ is known in Chicago. He has an international reputation and very experienced with Barrett Hatch's type surgery. Uh, close to a thousand now. Oh, and there would be no going into Barrett's skull. We establish the safest entry point. In his case, it was through the nose. Was it successful? I, I, I couldn't see this a month ago. Now, his vision restored, his pituitary tumor-free, Barrett Hatches openly and enthusiastically shares his life lesson. The more in control you think you have always been, the harder it is to surrender. And by surrendering, divine intervention then stepped in to eventually deliver him to a surgeon whose philosophy is, no matter how many surgeries he's done, that if it's the most important day of the patient's life, it's the most important surgery in the life of Dr. Christ. And then if you have that attitude, then you're going to always want to do better. It's not a miracle. It's not a miracle. It's a message. Dr. Christ has traveled all over the world to perform surgeries and give lectures. In May, he travels to Sweden to be presented the Herbert Olive Krona Award. It is considered the Nobel Prize of neurosurgery, but he calls Central Arkansas his home.